Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another Screencasts Online weekly tip video. Now, whilst it doesn't happen a lot, there are occasions when I want to print from my iPhone or iPad. Now, this usually means having an AirPrint compatible printer configured and accessible from your Wi Fi network. However, if you already have a Mac with a printer attached, Printopia from Decisive Tactics allows you to utilize your existing printer from your Mac as an AirPrint printer. So this is Printopia over at decisivetactics.com. Uh, it used to be owned by Ecamm, but it looks as though they've sold the product onto Decisive Tactics. There is a free trial if you want to download and try for free for seven days, you can do, or you can buy the full package for $19.99. Now, there are different versions. If I just scroll down to the bottom, there is a home version, uh, which is the one I'm going to demonstrate today. You can connect up to five physical printers and it converts them into virtual printers but there are team, office and enterprise editions for uh, extra numbers of printers and also some more sophisticated sharing of your printers. But as I say, I'm going to stick with the, the home version for now. I just go back to products, Printopia, and we'll go ahead and uh, I'll download and install the free trial so you can see how it all works. So if we go to here, I'll just install this across over in my applications folder. And let's run it for the first time. I'll just pop this out of the way. In fact, before I do run it, let me just show you my current setup. So I have a printer connected to this Mac. It's a DeskJet printer. Now I'm using standard printer sharing to share this on the network. I'm going to take that off because that will conflict with Printopia when I do run it. But let's go ahead and uh, we'll run it from Spotlight. So Printopia is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? We'll say open. We accept the terms of the agreement. Uh, let's start our seven day free trial. Admin password. That starts the server. Now you don't have to have Printopia running permanently. It will run in the background for you as a service and allow you to share your printer. But basically um, that's it installed and pretty much configured. Let me just go to overview. Yeah, if you see an error here, it normally means that you haven't switched off the standard Mac printer sharing, but uh, that is now working. And let me just go ahead and bring my iPad on screen so you can see how this looks from the iPad. So from here, we've got two shared printers, my desk jet and this option to send to Mac. So let me just try it first and we'll come back and have a look at some more advanced configuration. So here we are across on the iPad. Uh, we'll work on the iPhone as well, but let's go ahead and try and print something. So if I go into, well, let's say into mail, so I've got this email here that I want to print off. To access the print function, you tap on this arrow in the top corner. So reply forward and print. If I tap on print, we get the print preview at the bottom. I can select the number of copies and the range. Let's just go with the first page. So from one to one, let's go back out and then select a printer. Now these are the two entries that we saw in Printopia. First one being the printer itself, and the second one being the option to send a PDF of this email across to my Mac and have it stored in the local file system. If I want more information, I can just tap on the little I, gives me the name and location, and similarly with the second one as well, but these are all on my MacBook Pro. So let me go ahead and select the printer, and then I just tap print. I don't know if you can hear in the background, the printer has burst into life and that is now printing for me. Let me do that again. Well, this time we'll print to the Mac. So we'll say print. Now it's remove the printer. It's also giving me an option now to configure it to print in black and white or color. That did actually print out in color, but I can switch on black and white if I want. But let me just tap again into printer. And this time, let me go to send to Mac. Again, number of copies, options, color. I can change the range or I can switch it to black and white, but let's leave it as color and we'll have all pages. It's only a two page document. And if I say print, right, let me just flip across to the Mac. And over on the Mac, that document has appeared within preview. It saved it as a PDF. So there's the first page and the second page as well. Now, as far as the location of the document, if I control or right click on the file name, you'll see it's in users shared printopia. So if I go across to the Finder, let's open a new window in the Finder. So if I go to MacBook Pro, SEO HD, Users, Shared, Printopia. Right, so there is my PDF. Okay, let me close this down. 
Let's go back into Printopia. Now here we have an option to go into settings. So the properties, the paper handling, the paper type quality, the standard things that you would see through the normal print dialog box. Let's just cancel that. Now, if you didn't want the option to send to your Mac, you can disable it from here and it won't appear in the list of available printers on your iOS device. You can also add additional things here. So if you have a separate printer, you can add that in. You can create printer groups and then down here, right, we can save to a specific folder. We can save to Dropbox and we can save to iCloud Drive. Let's set up save to iCloud Drive. I suppose in some respects this has been superseded by iOS 11 in that there are now buttons within the share sheet to save to the files application and to save things as PDFs, etc. But if you haven't got iOS 11, perhaps you're on an older version of iOS, uh, this still might come in handy. So I'll demonstrate it to you anyway. And within iCloud Drive, well, it's defaulted to my documents folder, but let's see, I wanted to create another one. Uh, let's create a new folder. We'll call this Printopia. And we'll select. So now I can save directly to iCloud Drive if I want to send it as a PDF and have it replicated across my iOS and Mac devices. And also, let's just do one more thing down here. I can send it to a specific application or add PDF workflow. So if I wanted to, I could come up here and say, add to iBooks. So that service is now shared. Anything that I print using Printopia on my iPad or my iPhone, I can send to any of these sources. So the PDF will either end up in iBooks, it can end up in iCloud Drive, or to that folder on my Mac. So let's go ahead and uh, give that a try. So again, across over to my iOS device. So I've come across to Safari. I want to print this article and save it within my iCloud Drive folder structure. Without Printopia, I could still do it with iOS 11, but that would be a multi-stage process. So I would tap on here. I would go across, I would create PDF. And then I would then again, tap on share sheet and then save to files. And then I can put that within iCloud Drive. Or an alternative, let's just delete that PDF. If I go to here, then if I say print, I could send this in one action directly to iCloud Drive. So save to Printopia in iCloud Drive. I'll say print. Then if I go into iCloud Drive, into Printopia, it's showing zero items, but let's go in. Yep, there it is. So there's the document that I've just printed using Printopia. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple-related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine, packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14-day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.